What number is it? Eight. Eight, well done. Okay, can you find the eight on this one? What do you reckon? I think it's here. Can you see? Yeah. Good girl. Pull, pull, pull. It's quite hard this one, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> you got the other side. <laughs> We'll do it. We'll do it from the bottom. There you go, um, Mimi. What's in this pocket? Can you pull it out for me? Wool. It's more wool, isn't it? Well done. Oh, that's the strawberry fields one done. Let's open it. You you open the parcel then? This one. Oh, that no, that's not eight. That's eighteen, darling. But well done. Now the eight is here. Eight. There. Do you want to get it? No. Oh, you want to open? You want to open the Fiberland one? Because you like opening the presents, don't you? Oh, it is very purple, isn't it? Well done. What does the piece of paper say? It says, Coop knit socks, yeah, in random dialogue. No, in Raiden. Radon. Right, should we open this one? I want to open it. Go on then, you open it. And pull it that way. Whoa! <laughs> Advent corner is being destroyed. No, it opens this way, darling. Like that. You got it? <gasps> oh. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, that's very pink and purple, isn't it? Shall we see what the what the tag says? The tags. Oh. The tag is blank. Let's make her the tea. Oh, we're going to make the do the tea. Now, the eight on here is going to be quite hard to find. Where's the eight? Oh, it's this one. This one. Should we bring it down? Bring it down. Right, ready? Oh. I just open it. Yeah, you open it for me. Tea? More tea. Yeah. Well done, thank you. And this one, you're going to put it back on top. That's it, well done. And this one is Fairy Tale of New York. I need my chocolate. Okay. Wait a minute, Mimi. In there. In there. Right, can we see if we can find the eight? That's 19. Where's the eight? Can you find it? No, that's not the eight. That's not the eight, put it back. That's 18. No, couple up. Find the eight. This one. I found it. What have you got, shall we? A chocolate. And look what else is there. The food. Do you want to go and show daddy? Mimi. and windy so I don't know if you can hear me but is this our tree? Yeah. We're hitting it apparently. It's huge so we're gonna have to cut the top off. But we found it really difficult this time to find
Good evening. Um, so we, we went, we got a tree. It's like nine foot tall, so we're gonna have to cut it down, cut it to size um, for this room. Um, and then we basically came home, had lunch and went and had a snooze, all three of us. <laughs> I was tired. She got some screen time and Chris doesn't feel well, so yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit dozy. But yes, so we're gonna have now a little bit of the evening time of playing and dancing. Um, and then dinner and bath and bed and Strictly results. And then his dark materials, which it feels like we watched that like two days ago, three days ago. He's nodding at me. Um, so yeah, that'd be fun. And I have no idea what we're doing for dinner. Probably something easy because um, it's a big day, long day tomorrow. So we'll see. Um, we're not putting the tree up tonight, I don't think. We might attempt it after bedtime, but it depends on how tired we both are. So it's currently sat in its, as affectionately named by Dundonet, it's... Oh, I'm having it signed at me that it's no longer in its casing or as Caroline from Dundonet and Knitting Vicariously um, affectionately calls it the Christmas tree condom. Um, it's, is it in its base then? Just wedged in the rafters <laughs> I don't know if you picked that up, but it's apparently wedged in the rafters of the of the um, of the uh, garage, um, unfurled. But it might have been a mistake because he doesn't quite know how he's going to get it out there. But never mind, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Maybe after bedtime. Um, teamwork. Anyway, um, but it'll go there where the penguin stool is. Is what is the Christmas tree spot. Um, and then that might be actually if we can try and get it up tonight and in place maybe Amelia and I can decorate it tomorrow morning that might be the thing to do uh, mm, brain working good anyway um I don't know how much more I'll and uh, if we do bring the tree in then I'll film it tonight but I think I might just sign off now because Otherwise it's going to be really boring. I might give my opinion on who's in the final. There we go. I'll give my opinion on who's in the final and then I'll sign off. So I'll see you one more time after this. Well, it's not, it's not subtle. Mimi, do you want to go and stand next to it for scale? Right, my child is 1.1 meters tall. Don't show your yogurt, that's not very nice. It was, we think, about just under nine feet. It's now seven foot six, because we've lopped off the top. But the top will cover that, so it's fine. Hee hee! <sighs> Ugh, just needs to blur. Um, so, cup of tea, and strictly results. I am behind, so no spoilers. <laughs> It doesn't really care. It doesn't really matter because obviously you can't spoil this for me. I'll know by the time this goes out. Mm -mm. Time and that thing. Um, so this is Fairy Tale of New York. This is my bed and blend from today. It is inspired by Irish coffee. Um, it's rooibos, so no caffeine. Although cocoa shells and coffee beans, um, roasted dandelion root and natural flavouring. So on the face of it, I'm not going to like this because I don't like coffee. But we will see. So, with sweet vanilla rooibos and chocolatey notes, this creamy Irish coffee inspired blend is a Christmas dream come true. Raise your mugs, tea birds, and join us. And the bells are ringing out for Christmas Day. Anyway, um, it is one of my favourite Christmas songs because it's not really a Christmas song. And if you don't know the song, I will link it for you down in the show notes because you need that song in your life. We'll see how I like this, and you will see my reaction to the tea and then my reaction to the Strictly result momentarily. I need to stop quickly and just interject. This is not Horan from What One Direction. <sighs> He's like, I don't know, 10 years younger than me, 12 years younger than me. He's weirdly sexy now. I love this song as well. Just thought I'd share. <laughs> 